Massive flames, dark smoke, and an unstable building, all factors that made the Indianapolis warehouse fire a dangerous and exhaustive mission during the weekend. But what if they had a piece of equipment that could go inside all by itself? It's very simple. It's basically a, 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 a pump and nozzle. So you, the water comes in, uh, the water comes out, it's articulated, so basically the hose can move, the nozzle can move, this is on a turret. You're looking at a firefighting robot. It's a prototype made by a Korean company and it's being tested and improved upon by researchers at Purdue. We're actually going to work on uh, upgrading the software and working on tactics and do modeling to try to show the fire service where this could actually save them money, save lives, and protect more property. The robot is completely operated using remote control and because it goes inside dark buildings it has a screen that connects wirelessly to this infrared camera. You could put the robot in places that you would never dream of putting a human being. That's exactly what happened yesterday when the Purdue Fire Department was called to a massive 400,000 square foot warehouse fire in eastern Illinois. When we first arrived uh, some of the firefighters, both career and volunteers, were a little skeptical. They sent the robot into an area that wasn't safe for any crews. It traveled uh, approximately 150 to 175 feet back into a partial collapsed structure and were able to deploy water where the aerial devices were not able to reach. Yesterday was its first real world test and firefighters said it was effective and easy to control. Though it wasn't used in the warehouse fire in Indianapolis, they can only imagine what it could have done to help. It's a perfect example for where this would be used. Ideally, we'd like to see this be an integral part to a fire apparatus and you know, just another tool that they pull out of the back for a situation that would as needed to help protect the firefighters' lives.